Hello, Mioni here, and welcome back to another video for Final Fantasy XIV, knocking out the rest of the previews of the patch 5.4 housing items. Today we're looking at yet another different one, uh, which is the Floris Counter. This is something you can craft with level 80 basic alchemy, added in patch 5.4. And uh, basically recommended craftsmanship says 1866, which is pretty low. Honestly, it's fairly easy to get way over that. I've got just over 2000, I think. Yeah, 2094, even in my awful gear. So it's not too difficult. Uh, the actual materials to craft this then, apart from being a level 80 alchemist, include a glade desk, which is something you can craft yourself with your carpenter at level 38 with oak lumber, walnut lumber and linseed oil not particularly taxing in the slightest or you can just purchase that from the market board one viola seeds one tulip bulb one hydrangea seed all of those easily obtainable and two growth formula cappers that together makes the florist counter it is a diable countertop furnishing item for indoors spaces and it says for some reason the name flower monger never quite caught on i wonder why Right, let's have a look at this item then. I am begging to see what it looks like. I've had this around for a little while. Wow, that's actually really quite cute. Look at that. All right, let's uh, let's get first person on this. Um, lower the camera a little bit. There we go. Look at this. Oh, let's turn off snapped grid. So it's less chunky of a rotation. So what have we got in the front here? We've got all of those different seedlings, all those little plants. With little bouquet thingies, is that what they're called? Bouquets? Ribbons or whatever? In these little flower pots on two stages. The sort of thing you would actually sell flowers at, I guess, at a stall. So if you want to make a flower shop in the actual game, as much as you'd have to use, obviously, um, mannequins and access to retainers to actually sell the seeds yourself, it's it's completely doable. I quite like the um, like the weird magnet things. Or is that supposed to be sellotape? And those are supposed to be bags on the left. I'm not really sure what that's supposed to be. But yeah, I can imagine myself stood behind this desk going, Yes, what would you like, madam? No, we don't have any roses. But they're at the front. I, uh, we don't have any roses at all. Stop asking the same question. But in theory, we have blue, red, and white. So let's see what is actually diable on this. I have a feeling it will be the wood. I doubt it would be the flowers. Let's see. It is, of course, none other than uh, than the wood then. But the looks of it. Wow, that looks really quite nice in pure white, doesn't it? Lighting permitting. Looks nice in snow white. Range of greys, soot black looks pretty good. What about the reds? It should look quite nice in pale reds. Salmon pink. We got ruby red there. That's overkill. Cherry pink, though. I mean, that's overkill as well. But I'm sure some people will want that as a, as the dye option. It matches the the, the uh, color of those tulips, doesn't it? We've got some lovely browns to give that sort of wood embellishment with that nice wood grain. Looks a little more like a, a modern wood than an old wood, if it makes sense. More like MDF rather than actual oak or pine or something. Looking pretty good. I quite like the dye options on this. Looks quite nice in green. Nice naturey colours. Mmm, that's nice actually. A nice hunter green. Ochu green, that's even better. So yeah, there's a lot of people, like I said in a previous video with the trellis, um, that like to create nature-filled areas. I can imagine this being quite welcome as, uh, as an item in there. Mix this with some flower carpets, maybe, and some of the uh, verdant partitions. Yeah, that'd look really nice. Really, really nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, I like that one. Nice and easy to obtain. Not particularly difficult to craft, once again. So there's quite a, quite a few things in this patch that are pretty easy to craft. I mean, this isn't the hardest thing in the universe to craft, but I bet you it goes for over 70,000 gil for a completed item. So that was probably a very good money maker for those of you who jumped on that at the start. Look at the size of those sunflowers, they're enormous. But yeah, the, the height is pretty good against your character. I mean, I have the smallest uh, height setting of Makote, so she's sort of like peering through the uh, 
through the flowers at the top there. If you're a Lalafell, you'd probably come down to like the wood level. But uh, it's not bad, is it? So it's, it's a nice decorative item with lots of detail that only takes up one house placement. And that's what we like to see. Very cool indeed. More stuff like this. Anyway, thank you kindly for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Let me know if you've got one of these yet in the comment section. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.